Let's understand about the accounting entries which are made for various calls. Continuing with our example that we took for the purpose of share allotment, the first call amount is rupees 10 and it is due on 28th of February. Now the call amount can be fixed at the time of issue or it may be decided by the company afterwards. However, there are certain points which need to be noted is one that the call amount cannot exceed twenty five percent of face value of shares. So if it is fifty rupees, the call amount cannot exceed twelve point five. Okay? And the second thing is there should be an interval of at least one month. Okay. So let's say instead of 28th February we make this 28th March. And this as 31st May. Right. Now when you make the calls on shares the entry that you do when you make a call what is happening when you make the entry on call there is an amount which is due from the shareholders to the company why because there was an agreement between the shareholder and the company that as and when the company makes a call the shareholder has to pay it so on making the first call there is an amount due to the company from the shareholder. So you write this as what? Share call account debit to share capital. This is the general entry which is made. Okay. Now, because this is the first call, so every time whenever you make a call, you have to specify it in this entry so what do we do the general call entry is share call but this cause this is the first call so you write this as share first call account debit to share capital 10 rupees at the rate of 100,000 shares so you debit 10 lakh and you credit 10 lakh and the narration comes in as being first call due on 100,000 shares at the rate of 10 per share. Okay. Now let's see the final call. Or even before that, let me just complete the first one. Suppose what is the entry when you make when you receive the money? That is simple. So you get the money in the bank, you put in bank account debit to what is the account on which you have received the money? Share first call account. So share first call account credit. Now if you notice here what will happen is that this credit is going to cap get cancelled with the debit here. Okay? So what remains is you have credit to the share capital account ultimately and bank account gets debited. Right? Now let's see what happens in the final call. Well, let me use a different color here. Not good actually. Yeah. So once you make the final call you have an amount which is receivable. 10 into 100,000, 10 lakh. The way this is written is, you write this as so this final call is what? It's actually the second call which you are doing. Okay. 
So when you do a second call or whatever call I told you that it has to be written as share first call, share second call, share third call. But when you make a final entry or the final call, you write this as second and final call account. So the name of the call is also there and this being a final call is also recorded. Credit as usual goes to the share capital account because that's what on this account only we are going to receive the money. And when you receive the money, you debit the bank account and credit the second and final call account. Just like the one that you did here. Just the account nomenclature will change. Okay. So these are the accounting entries which are done for call money.